What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Altieri. If this is your first time here and welcome to the video. This video has been requested. This is my perfume collection video even though I've done one of these before. This is updated and hopefully better. I have a lot of perfumes here. Uh, almost 30. So I'm just going to tell you the name of the perfume, their scent type, a few of the notes. If there's a story tied to the perfume, my rating on it. If it's spring, summer, winter, fall, kind of said things like that, you know, just kind of quick fire go through these so this video is not forever. If you're interested in this look here, I did a spend my stash. So there's a tutorial or video on this look. Also this hair, I did a hair tutorial my first ever hair tutorial using the Conair Hot Rollers, if you're interested in that as well. Yes, ma'am. Three videos all at once. Yes. Uh, okay, so if you're interested in my perfume collection, you love perfumes, high-end, lower end, mostly high-end, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's get it. Have these separated into categories and the first category is very sweet slash very vanilla What's the word first one is a cult classic pink sugar I don't have the scent type on this one but I would say warm gourmand or like sweet gourmand I don't know something gourmand very very sweet as vanilla, caramel, orange, and strawberry. This reminds me of my first trip. Hold on. This reminds me of my first trip to Puerto Rico because I bought this, which is the pink sugar scent in an oil format, which oils last a lot longer than regular alcohol perfumes. But yeah, this isn't my all time favorite. I give this a three and a half out of five because it is very, very sweet. And that's not always my vibe. But yeah, this is very spring summer, even though I feel like people wear this all year round. Pink sugar, by pink sugar. <laughs> so creative. By the way, you can find these at TJ Maxx, Walmart, places like that. Pretty inexpensive. Next is the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume, which is described as Oriental Gourmand. It has open, without breaking. As notes of lavender, pear, coconut, vanilla, and musk, which I could definitely get the musk and the vanilla. Sort of like a very deep, sweet scent and very strong. Very, very sweet. A lot of Ariana Grande's scents are pretty sweet. It's not my absolute favorite. I give it a three out of five, and I would wear it mostly in the spring, I mean, in the summer or the fall. The fall, because of how deep. The scent is and when watching like a lot of perfume videos this is considered one of the best perfumes for women if you're interested in that next is the Victor and Rolf 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 flower bomb it's described as fresh floral and this is again a oil format but it smells identical to the original, the regular uh, flower bomb. As known as patchouli, vanilla, jasmine, and orchid. This scent is absolutely incredible. I got this on my cruise to Bermuda. I got it in Bermuda. Uh, this is another cult classic. I give this, I had four out of five written, but I give this a five out of five. This could be a year round scent and I would definitely purchase this again. Especially if I could get it in a rollerball because the rollerballs really um, make your fragrance last longer and like they smell more. If that makes any sense. Like the scent is stronger. Next is another rollerball, the Giorgio Armani Si Passione, which is described as floral fruity. This is another strong one. It has notes of vanilla rose pear and black currant. It's very 
strong and very sweet. I would repurchase this again and I'm looking, I put four out of five, but I'll give this five out of five. And something about the roller balls that they're just so good, you know? They just make everything so much better. Um, yeah, I would wear this all year long, especially for a night out, at night, something like that. Perfect. Next is another Ariana Grande, but this is a body mist, not perfume. Parfum. This is Ariana Grande Moonlight, which is described as floral gourmand. It has notes of plum, vanilla, amber, and marshmallow. It's nice, especially for like someone in high school, middle school, college. I graduated already. But it's still really nice. It's sweet, but it's not overpowering, but it's like it's mostly a sweet smell. I don't smell anything floral in, in here. I give this one a three and a half out of five. This is mostly like a spring, summer kind of scent. Really nice though. Really nice. And I got this at TJ Maxx for eight dollars. Scale. Next is the KKW Fragrance in Bertinia. This is discontinued. I can't find the notes anywhere, but it is very sweet. It reminds me of my trip to Florida for New Year's. We went to Disney on New Year's Eve. It is very sweet, but like someone sophisticated. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. You can't get it anymore. I do rate it for a four out of five, and I would wear this all year long, but it doesn't matter because you can't get it anymore, but I do have it. Next is the Sol de Janeiro in collaboration with Anita. Anita, don't know her. It's described as described as fresh gourmand. Has notes of oh, that's strong. Has notes of passion fruit, orchid, and pink grapefruit. It is strong. All of these scents are very, very strong and very sweet. This, this might be like the most fruity one of all of them from Sol de Janeiro. But it is pretty nice. I give this more so a three and a half out of five. It's not better, in my opinion, than the Boom Boom scent, the original, it's like in my taste. But yeah, this would be good for spring, summer, especially or on a nice sunny day in the winter. Next is the Ulta Brazilian Sunset scent fragrance. This is also discontinued. It is described as warm and sweet gourmands. It has caramel, pistachio, vanilla, and it is an exact dupe for the Boom Boom Spray from Sol de Janeiro, which is incredible. Mine is unfortunately, I think, expired. Maybe. Oh my god, like a couple months left in, in it. Like maybe the end of the summer won't be good anymore. I use a lot of it obviously because it smells absolutely incredible five out of five especially for the spring and summer on vacation um yeah but it's exactly like the boom boom so everything i say about this it goes with boom boom five out of five next is another victor and rolf this is the boom boom, boom. i think it's just boom boom am i saying that weird i feel like i am um it's Described as sweet floral, it has scents of mandarin, orange blossom, and caramel. Mm, so good. This is a five out of five. Don't know why I bought this, but I did. Read the notes and I thought, sounds like me. I love orange blossom in a perfume. It's very sweet, has some depth to it where it's not childish in any way. It's so good. Five out of five. I would wear this all year long and I would repurchase this again. Last one in this category is the, over this way, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. It's described as fruity sweet, it has berry, jasmine, and vanilla. I wore this a good amount during my time at NYU, so that's what it reminds me of. It is extremely sweet. I'm pretty sure this is expired because has an off scent to it that I know I didn't have before. 
but it is really nice very sweet much like someone in their 20s would wear this this could be used all year long i feel like i give it a four out of five like you know when it's when it smells proper um yeah really good one lots from juicy couture they all like are fairly the same thing can you stop Juicy Couture has a lot of scents that are basically, you know, very, very similar to each other, but really nice. They're all very sweet, so take note. Next category is Floral Fruity Sweets. Okay, first is my most expensive perfume. This is Bond Number no. 9 Lolita. It's broken. This has notes of tangerine, freesia, amber, and musk. This is $400. This was a gift from my dad a couple years ago. It is expired now, but it is perfect for spring and summer. I would give this a 4 out of 5 for my scent preferences now because I got this a couple years ago. Um, I will never get rid of the bottle. And I kind of missed out because I saved this for very special occasions. I mean, it's very high-end luxe, but that's why I ended up expiring because I didn't get to use it as much as I should have. Um, yeah, I have one that I like more from Bond that I'll get into at the end, but Bond number nine, Nolita, the most expensive perfume. Next is my second most expensive perfume. This is Parfums de Marley, Delina de de la rose delina la rose i don't know i don't know um yeah this is 295 dollars this was a gift from my best friend because she worked for the company for a little bit it has notes of pear bergamot rose peony and white musk this is my all-time favorite perfume so much five out of five would would repurchase where every single day it's so good it's so clean but the fruity, sweet scent is not overpowering. It's divine. Everyone compliments me when I wear this. It is so good. I love it so much. One of my favorite birthday gifts in the planet. And I hope to repurchase it one day because she decided to quit. <laughs> and now I don't got to hook up. So that's unfortunate. Next is the Marc Jacobs Perfect perfume. It's described as warm floral. It has notes of rhubarb, daffodil, almond milk, and cashmere. Cash, cash, it says cashmere. I don't know what that is. This is a very. This is Trixie Mattel's favorite perfume of 2021. 20, this is so easy to wear. It's a very everyday scent. Especially with my very spring, summer. This is just a really nice perfume for everyday wear special occasions it's just really good i would repurchase this again i give it a five out of five mark jacobs perfect is perfect next is ariana grande's god is a woman it's described as fruity musk which i don't think is a good combo um it has amberette juicy pear vanilla cedarwood i don't know what it is but it doesn't smell good on me i hate this perfume i give it a one out of five i would never buy this again it's hard for me to even tell you when to wear this, but probably like summer, fall, winter, because it's like very deep. Um, yeah, I hate it. So if you hear banging, they they just you know <laughs> just constantly doing something in this building, and I feel like it's always right above me or right next to me. So sorry, it's every day, even on the weekend. Noise. So next perfume. This is the Lancome Idol Fresh Floral. It's as it's described. It has bergamot, pear, rose, vanilla, musk. And yeah, this is very sophisticated, simple, sweet, a little fruity, a little floral. Really nice, pretty scent. Very springy, like very fresh, fresh vibes. And in the summer as well. I give this. A four out of five. But I may repurchase it again. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see how I feel like in the spring how much I wear, but 
It is a very, very pretty scent, pretty bottle. Love it. Next is, damn girl. Next is Chloe Love Story, described as fruity floral. It has jasmine and neroli. Those are the only notes I found. And so Sephora. And this is my second all-time favorite perfume, as you can see. Wow, use a lot. I got this in Costco for like fairly cheap. Five out of five, all year round, would be purchased. It's so good. I had to stop myself from using it because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna run out. But it's so pretty. It's sweet. It's a bit fruity, a bit floral. And so good for everyday wear. I love it. Oh, 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 so much. Next is the Nest Dahlia and Vines, described as classic florals, as peony and lychee. Lychee? It is lychee. It's very simple, very low key, but sweet, has some depth to it. I know, it's nice. It's not my favorite. I give it a three out of five. I got this because it was on sale and I was like, try it out. Good for the spring and summer. Very like garden vibes, which, you know, it's very much the brand's like forte. Next is another Nest perfume. This is Sunkissed Hibiscus, described as Warm Florals has notes of orange blossom and amber, which is why I purchased it. Oh, and then not me thinking it's a rollerball and it's a spray. <laughs> uh, again, subtle, but like strong because like amber in a perfume presents as like a very strong uh, scent, not in terms of like overpowering in terms of how, how it smells, but like how it makes you feel, feel strong, you know what I mean? Empowering sweet just very low key oh, i don't know how to just it's just good you guys it's just really good i give this four and a half out of five and i would repurchase this it's really really nice and again reminds me of the garden from the hibiscus next is the Jo malone peony and blush suede described as classic floral has red apple peony and suede this is very classy very very luxe high end but like in a soft and subtle way like yeah i have money but i don't because look how tiny that is pretty sure this was a reward or something yeah this is absolutely beautiful i would repurchase five out of five so let me just it's so good i would wear this all year round because just so simple it doesn't i got in my eye it did Trying to play it off, but it did. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, it doesn't pull too sweet. It doesn't pull too deep. It's just very nice, lovely. By the way, I don't have any fresh scents like fresh citrusy, like a Dolce Gabbana white and blue. No, I don't want to smell like laundry. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is Dolce and Gabbana Rosa Excelsa. This is discontinued. It has notes of neroli, papaya, rose, and musk. Um, I bought this for my second trip to PR. By the way, these are like trips in relation to my boyfriend's so like trips during college. Yeah, I bought this specifically to go over there because I like to bring scents when I go on a trip or vacation or get something while I'm out there. So I tied that scent to that trip in that place. <sighs> this is very spring, summer. I give this four out of five it, it's making me happy smelling it very fresh yeah very like super fresh very springy i mean you know the rose this is a, a beautiful i mean i can't talk too much about it because you can't get it but it's a really really beautiful fragrance love her last in this category is the lancome levy is bed i don't know <laughs> happiness shot it's described as sweet floral, has notes of iris, patchouli, sugar, and vanilla. I got this during Ulta 21 Day Sale. It's not my all-time favorite. Like, it has some powderiness to it. Probably from the iris. I don't know. Or the sugar. Something about sugar in a scent. Not always my favorite. Very, very sweet. 
almost sickly if you use too much. Not my favorite. Three and a half out of five and very like summery spring summer kind of scent, but still not bad, but not a fave. So you could say like I don't use it. <laughs> Halfway there, I feel like. Uh, next category, true florals slash powdery floral. All right, there's only one in this category, and that is Chloe, Chloe Eau de Parfum, described as powdery floral. It has peony, freesia, lychee, amber, honey, very luxe, very expensive quite strong like I could tell someone wearing this perfume it's very distinct this was a gift from my boyfriend for Christmas I did have this before and everybody loved it this is a five out of five I would repurchase this obviously it's just so classic true classic Chloe love her next category is subtly sweet First, I have the Mason Margiela Replica Beach Walk, described as fresh floral, has bergamot heliotrope, don't know what that is, coconut milk, it's a cult classic. People love this perfume, and I understand why. It's a 5 out of 5, I would repurchase this. That coconut milk is so different from, like, coconut in a scent, it's, it's so subtle and warm and cozy, very spring, summer. Oh, by the way, Chloe, all year long, special occasions, all that. Yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. It's unisex as well. I think most of Replica is. It's insane, love this. This is Kali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, described as warm floral. It has coconut jasmine and vanilla bourbon. This is a new fave of mine. This is a gift from my mom for Christmas. This was on my wish list. This is a five out of five. I would repurchase this and wear it all year round. I cannot stop wearing it now. I keep it in my purse. It's so good. It is sweet, but it's not overpowering. I get complimented on this as well. Such a beautiful, beautiful scent. I'm really loving the KLE brand. Love her. Mm, vanilla cocoa, so good. Next is YSL Libre. It's described as warm floral, has lavender, orange blossom, and vanilla. Again, I love orange blossom. This is my top five favorite perfume. I gifted this to myself because my mother gifted it to someone and was like, I need that. <laughs> and I got one. And I have a travel for my purse as well. These noises, I'm so sorry. I got a phone. This is a five out of five. I would repurchase again and again. I would wear it every single day, all year round. It's so good. It's sophisticated, sweet, soft, but strong. So good. And the bottle, stunning. Next is very new to my collection, not the newest. This is Billie Eilish, Eilish perfume. It's described as Amber Gormand. Look at that bottle, how stunning. It has mandarin, berries, vanilla, spices, and cocoa. It's not my favorite, and I think it's because of the spices, and especially the cocoa. It's very, very deep. It has a richness to it. It's, it's subtly sweet, as I categorize it as. Um, but it's very unique. That undertone of cocoa really pulls through. And again, it's not my absolute favorite. This is more so like fall winter vibes, which, you know, that's what we're in. Yeah, there's, there's something very warm and cozy about it. It's like a three and a half out of five. Not my favorite, but yeah. I would wear it all year round, but, but mostly like winter, winter fall because of how deep it is in that cocoa. Yes, my next is KKW fragrance body two. This is also discontinued. It's described as floral, fruity, has coconut, neroli, orange, and jasmine. This is a new favorite. I got this from Ulta months ago. 
months ago because it was like 10 bucks it's kind of getting discontinued all that she'll probably come out with something similar again in the future but this is a very everyday scent <laughs> to hear it swishing around i i give it a five out of five i'd wear this all year long it's it's sweet it's soft it's weird like i wasn't expecting to really like it as much as i do but i kind of love it <laughs> yeah i would wear that every day it's a super easy daily signature scent last in this category <laughs> is victoria's secret teas i have the body mist not a perfume described as warm gourmet has gardenia pear and vanilla this would be a forever fave like i will forever be repurchasing this i don't use it because you know not much left in there i should have buy another one uh, this is probably my most used perfume ever. I've purchased this three times. I've had a travel spray to take on vacations, which also got used up. Um, my boyfriend's aunt introduced this to me our first Christmas, so 2016. She got me a set of teas, and I've been wearing it ever since. So it's a five out of five. I wore this all the time uh, during college at NYU. I'd wear this all year long. It's just one of those scents that everyday signature kind of scent something like bombshell but not bombshell i think this is better than bombshell all right we're in the last category yes ma'am and the last category is strong scents first i have the kle deja vu white flower described as warm floral it has pear jasmine gardenia orange and vanilla it's strong let me tell you, this is boom, boom, pow. I don't know what it is that that makes it so strong. Um, but yeah, it lasts a long time. It like you could smell someone when they're walking by. It's quite intense. This is not for the faint of heart. It's very like girls' night out at the club. I don't know. You want to like turn eyes somewhere? This is that Kali. They know what they're doing. They have a scent for everyone. I give this a three and a half out of five. It's not my favorite because of how strong and intense it is. Um, but as a time and place, this is somewhat all year long because I see this more as like a special occasion kind of thing. If it were to be your daily scent for a season, I would say more so fall winter because it's very deep and intense. Next is... La Rive Miss Dream. This is supposed to be a dupe for Carolina Herrera. Good. Good girl? I'm pretty sure. The black one. I mean, you know. It's duping it. Uh, it has notes of bergamot, milk, jasmine, rose, and vanilla. It's not a favorite. I do like Carolina Herrera. Good girl. I've had samples of it. Something about this one missed the mark. It's... I don't know it's it's i don't know it's hard to describe i feel like it's not mixed as well in terms of the scent i don't know i guess when you pay a higher price you're paying for a reason because that one is so much better than this one but yeah i give it a three out of five it's pretty much all year long kind of thing it's sweet but this is not my fave i would give this to my mother-in-law <laughs> i think she would really like it and i got that on amazon i'm pretty sure Last scent I'm talking about is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one described as warm and sweet gourmet, has notes of citrus, violet, and coffee. This is very grown. It's, I have it in a rollerball as well, which I prefer the rollerball because, you know, stronger, longer lasting. You could really get the coffee in there, which coffee, anywhere you go, anywhere you make it, very strong scent very grown very sophisticated for a businesswoman going to a meeting and you mean business i give it a three and a half out of five it's not my favorite it's pretty much an all year round kind of scent but not something i reach for obviously you see my other oils are much more used than this one but it's still pretty nice i know kathleen lights likes that one a lot but yeah those are all my perfumes okay so last I wanted to mention for my top three most wanted scents 
I always go back and forth with what I want based on like what I see at Ulta or Sephora. But anyway, these are my top three most wanted at the moment. Bond number nine, Gold Coast. I've had samples of it and that's probably my all-time favorite scent at Bond. Yeah, love that scent. I definitely want it. I want Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I have that right here as a scent and it blew me away. I did not expect to like it as much as I do. Really want to get a full size of that or just like a travel size. And KLE Eden Juicy Apple 01. A lot of people are talking about it. It looks beautiful. And the notes sound beautiful as well. You can see throughout my collection, I have a lot of smaller sizes or travel sizes because I know I sometimes stick to one perfume. I use a lot of it and I neglect everything else and sometimes, you know, every day I try to switch out, but I don't use all of my perfumes up unless I really, really love it. As you can see, some of them are very well loved and some of them are not and it's better that I only spent 29, 30 bucks on the travel instead of 50 on a full size. So that's why I buy a lot of travel sizes to test out a scent to see if it's something I want to buy bigger or repurchase again in the future. Yeah, I highly recommend that to you. If you're trying to spend less coin, but still smell good. I hope this video is not too long and not too annoying because all of the sounds that are pissing me off. But yeah, so yeah. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button down below. Comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy. I post all the time. If you like me and you like this video, share it with a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter, and link all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.